And the Dow's Jennifer Dowling is tracking that wildfire. And she's uh, made her way near the scene. So, Jennifer, what can you see and tell us what you know? Well, we're not quite to the smoke and the haze yet, but we are making our way. Uh, you know, this is a very dangerous situation because it is hot, it is dry, and the fire can spread very quickly under these conditions. They feel almost like mid to late summer conditions when we typically have our big wildfire seasons. And, and so uh, this is really, really early, it feels like to me anyway. But helicopters are already doing bucket drops on that fire. They've got the water buckets going out there in the west of the Dells. And, People have already been evacuated, as we mentioned earlier in the news cast. Fire crews were working throughout the day to move equipment and people while trying to get the situation under control. I-84 was shut down, and witnesses said that roads around Taylor Lake quickly became impassable earlier in the afternoon due to the fire. At around 2 o'clock, people started those evacuations, and volunteers and residents started getting animals and livestock out of the line of fire as well. Level 3 evacuations were issued again. We mentioned this before, but once again, for the Pinewood Mobile Home Manor, Columbia Gordon. Discovery Center and the golf course there. Now, Oregon State Police say the highway was closed five miles west of the Dalles from milepost 80 to 81 due to smoke and lack of visibility. Highway 30 was also closed three miles east of Mosher between mileposts 60 and 72. And ODOT also reports that power lines are down in the area, so that can be dangerous too. So a lot going on in the Dalles area, Wasco County, uh, with that fire. And we're going to get cl as close to it as we can and bring you updates here later on the newscast. Back to you. And we want to show you on a map what Jennifer's talking about, how the, how the fire uh, forced ODOT to shut down I-84 between the Dalles and Mosier. Okay, we're joined by ODOT's Peter Murphy on the phone right now. Can you hear us, Peter? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, live and well in Bend. <laughs> all, right, all right. What are road conditions like right now? Is 84 still shut down? Yeah, it's going to be a little challenging for folks up there. Uh, we're closing from milepost uh, 87 to 64. So basically that's from the Dalles to Hood River. And then we're going to push traffic basically up through Highway 35. That's above Hood River uh, up to Highway 26 then around over to Highway 197 uh, and then back north. So to Maupin basically and then back north. So uh, that's the uh, condition that we have that exists there right now. We're trying to get people moved there. Uh, it's going to take a while to do that. And then, of course, the power crews are going to have to come in and do what they can to fix the power line. That's, that's the big issue right now. Of course, you know, fire and smoke are a problem, but the power line is what's going to cause the real problem. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of all this. There's a lot of traffic trying to get to that point. They're going to have to go the other way. And getting those power crews onto the scene is going to present some challenges. And after that, it's going to take about two hours, they say, to get things fixed. Peter, looking at that detour you were mentioning, uh, that's going to take somebody uh, hours additional to get to where they're going. Are you closing it because of the flames we're watching, or is it because of the smoke, or both? Well, probably both. Um, you know, uh, we've got a, a difficult situation is what it comes down to. You know, both the flames, which, uh, you know, have not subsided, according to what I'm being told, and the smoke itself, uh, which apparently has led to a couple of minor crashes. So we have both things going on. And then getting the detour itself established uh, takes time, too. And in the meantime, all that traffic builds up. So uh, it's uh, a challenging time. Uh, we have a lot of wind in the gorge. We have fire conditions. Uh, people need to be aware of all of that. Uh, we're heading into it a bit early this year, perhaps, and uh, we must be really heads up about what we're doing with fire behavior, what we're going to do to cause fires or not. Uh, it's a challenge out there right now and will be for a little while here. Yeah, I, one of the common response I saw to the, the pictures I was tweeting out was, so it begins. Yeah, it begins. Exactly. Here it is Peter, June 2nd. Yeah, Peter, thank you.